Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. We have Brett Barley with us, real team rider, and this is the next episode of Under the Glass. Brett, uh, which board are we looking at today? Today, we have got the Pizel Ghost Pro. This board is 5'10", 18 3 quarters by 2.31. 25 and a half liters and this was one of the boards that i was kind of the most excited to to okay. try out when you know we started this whole yeah, ordeal. yeah i remember that that was actually in in like kind of quiver number one that yeah. actually went out like the very first night this might have actually been the very first board i pulled off the rack okay and so i was real curious to see how it go obviously watching john john do what john john does i was curious to see if i could at least do like some fraction of that. <laughs> and I was curious to see how it would go in the barrel. Like, you know, I, I like wit, like boards that are designed for the tube. The, the pulled in tail for me kind of sold me on that. It was a little wider than like what I'd normally go. Okay. But based off the literage, you know, it seems like it'd be perfect. And so uh, it's been really exciting to ride this board. I only got to try it out once prior to this fall, but this fall I've gotten to ride it quite a few times. And I absolutely love like the vast range that it covers. Like it isn't just a tube board. It's more of like a step up. That's also good in the tube. All right. And so uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, there's a Pizel Ghost, which is like the stock model. And they're both similar in that they're wide point forward. The thickness of the board is forward. And then they all both come back down to pentails. Uh, you've got the stock Pizel Ghost. And then you have the Pizel Ghost Pro, which is a narrower, thinner, like more bladed out version of that of that same board you know for a higher level ability surfer so these are the pros that uh that brett is riding and yeah just a good all-around board good step up board but i mean john john even rode his like a trestles yeah and stuff was just yeah, was I, nuts it's interesting because you know in my head it being a 510 and as wide as it is i would think that i'd need a bigger wave uh, but I have had waves that were just, you know, like this big and it goes on rail insane. The, the way this tail feels, I can't explain it. The, the tail and the feeling you get off the bottom and then through a turn for the way the rest of the board is shaped is unlike anything I've ever ridden. It honestly took me like a few, like the, the first session I wrote it, it took me like a few times to kind of be like, okay, like how do it, it felt different. Right. And then now that I know, um, you know, it's just, it definitely is a different approach. You, you can get way back here a lot and put way more weight back here to drive through a turn than you can on um you know like a normal shortboard the tail is so pulled in i mean it is very pinned out and to me that would make me think that like you need a fast powerful wave but it honestly goes really well even on like you know a softer section and it wraps turns pretty insane i would say immediately the first day i rode it uh, the things that went through my head were that I had a couple sections. It, I was surfing the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. It was not clean. It was, it was not, bumpy. That day. It, was it was not good at all. It was bad, over, but I wanted to try it out. Yeah. I had a, the lighthouse has this like way the wave bends out to sea and you'll be going at a section and it's like the worst approachable section. There's like no good way to approach it. Cause it's like a right coming at you, but you're going out to sea and you're on a soft part of the wave and it's a bully part. It's just like unapproachable. And I remember vividly having this one wave where I was like, okay, like if I can turn through this, like this, this is, you know, this is the test mm -hmm. because for me, any good board I've ever had, I can like turn through that. It's hard to explain. It's not, they're never good turns, but for me, I can know like, well, that's a good board. The yeah. good boards make it through that. And this thing just like buried through that turn, like held the rail with speed. And I kind of like finished out and was just like, okay, I think this is good board then. <laughs> like, yeah, that was like my yeah. test. Ended up having a few others that it felt really good on rail, wrapping some nice turns, just, to me it feels like once you like after you come off the bottom there's like this spring that you get and as you lay into the turn the thing just wants to fly through it whereas i'm used to like kind of a more drawn out approach mm -hmm. this is like more responsive i would say um which for me it took like a little bit of being like whoa this thing like it goes faster through all this than i'm prepared for which then once you get that dialed is way better <laughs> so you were talking a little bit about like in your head like this board compared to some of the other boards that you're riding right now like in your mixed brand quiver as being like not only a barrel board but also like really good for like bigger waves and like high speed turns yeah let's yeah. talk about that a little bit so we did get a couple days uh this fall um where i got to like get up on the fa out on the face and try it out and it's very forgiving mm -hmm. um you know speed not only through flat spots because you got the wide point up here but then driving control through those steep sections. You know, spots where I would normally be skipping out because the wave's like doubling up and bowling and like 
kind of just bending weird at like the lighthouse or something, this thing just like held through it and I was able to uh, maintain control. You know, a lot of times I'll ride like a barrel specific board. Yeah. And so then when you get those open face sections, you know, you can do turns, but they just aren't as like, you know, snappy and, and aggressive. Right. It's more like you're riding through it. And this board I had a lot of fun on because it was just like primed for the open face and, you know, handled in the tube. And what do you think it is? I mean, other than the, the length of the board, right? Because this is like a 510, five, right? And then some yep. of the other stuff, like your kind of more go-to barrel boards or 5.8s. Is it, is it the longer rail line or is it the rocker? Or like, what, what do you think it is that's doing that? That is, I have no idea. You have no idea? I just ride it and I know that it does what it does. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> I wish a shaper could tell you that. Or maybe you could t <laughs> tell me that. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, I mean, I think, I think the one thing I will say is, you know, this is 510, 18, three quarters, 2.31, 25.4 liters, it says. The main thing that I figured out was that in my head, I was looking at 25 liters and I was like, that seems kind of small. This board did not feel like 20, this feels like 27 or 26 right. and a half. The right. way the foam is up here and the way it paddles. I originally looked at this and was like 18 and three quarters is a little wide for what I like in the tube. Yeah. And I think that that shows uh, when I'm in the barrel, it doesn't feel quite as like to the T responsive as I like on the rail because uh -huh. it's just a little wider. You know, now I'm nitpicking it to like a fine tune yeah. like idea of what that should feel like. Right, right. Um, so I think I would ideally order it like custom a little narrower, but I think, I think something that I, I thought about was like, you know, I could have gone five nine or maybe even five eight. If I would have like put my finger over the leaders and just yeah. looked at the dimensions, yeah. I would have gone down a hair. And I think that it would fit the range of waves I like more, you know, in the like this big to like this big. Yeah. Whereas in the five ten, it feels the best on a bigger wave. On a bigger wave. And it paddles insane. I mean it paddles amazing. And so I don't know necessarily what makes it do yeah, <laughs> the yeah. turns and all that better. The combination of everything. I mean, I would say there is like more rocker than like my typical barrel boards. Mm -hmm. And the tail is like, there's more width. So maybe it's that more, that extra width that helps it do the turns compared to my tube boards. But regardless, this is like an insane all around board. And say. also just looking at it, like I'm looking at it right now, it's just more, it's got more short board in it yeah. than your, yeah. than your, than your standard 5.8 tube board that you're riding. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't pick, I think in my head I was like, oh, that's gonna be my tube board. But after kind of feeling it out and looking it over and riding it, it is like you said, it's more of, it's more of a step up. And that's, you know, fits that range of like, it does it all instead right. of just being tube specific. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like a cross between the tube board and, and like the old school step up. That's yeah, like longer. which is I mean, fun. Because, six foot. Which is sick because like, you, you know, not every single wave you catch is going to be barreling. You do have those days, but you're always going to get that, that turn section. Yeah. And so it's good to have a board that will do that too. Yeah. I mean, that's like when you look at like John John surfing and you, and you remember back to that Margaret River contest a yeah, few dude. years ago. I mean, the <laughs> turns that he was doing on a... Uh, on one of these was, I mean, he basically just won, he won the contest on that turn. Yeah, I, w yeah. I would love, um, you know, I was riding this with the like Pizel Futures in, um, fiberglass fins. So it was for the stiffness when it was bigger. Yeah. I would love to ride this board on like just a clean long open face and see what I could do on turns because I feel like I can push my surfing a little bit harder like into the lip and out on the face okay. with this board than I have been able to with either my barrel boards or my short board step ups in the past. And so I haven't really gotten that opportunity yet other than like a, you know, a moment here or there. Right. But that's the thing I'm kind of the most excited for because that's where this board feels like it shines. Kind of like what you're saying, like seeing John on those waves. Yeah. That's yeah. like, that's where it uh, stands above the rest. Let's go, uh, let's rewind a little bit. Talk about like that volume number. Cause that, that's a, I think a huge point, you know, people get locked in like, yeah. like I'm 25 or I'm yeah. 29 or I'm 30, you know, 40 or whatever, whatever that number is. Right. And they're just hyper-focused on that number. And if you look at like the different board designs that are out there, like that number, you know, if it was a big, you know, big wide tail, you know, mini Simmons, that, that number goes all the way to the back, you know, yeah. on this board, obviously the 25 doesn't go anywhere to the back. Yeah, right? yeah. It's all underneath your chest. <laughs> it's all up here. So, you know, should people be as locked into that number as they are? I don't think so. Um, and honestly, talking with shapers 
other times previously, you know, I think that it's kind of one of those things where, you know, even recently I was talking to someone about this board specifically. Yep. They were on a short board that was about 25 liters, 25 and a half. And I was on this, that's about 25 and a half. We were both paddling out. We had done a drift. We came back in, we were walking up the beach and they were like, man, like that thing's too small. Like we should both be on bigger boards. I'm like, dude, this thing, it felt big. Right, right. Like paddling it, it felt big. On the face, it felt totally fine. Like it, I would have never wanted to be on a bigger board. Right, but right. him on a short board yep. was under gun. He wasn't getting the paddle power. He felt like he was lagging you know, out on the wave and getting out to the wave. And so you can't just go off the volume. Number. It, it, there's so much to a surfboard that's more design than leaders. Yep. So I think people that get way too focused on that number end up selling themselves short because like I said, I mean, even for me, I, I was just like, I kind of looked, when I looked at the dims on this, I was yep. just like, boom, 25 and a half. Yep. I don't want to go smaller than that. But if I had hit that and just looked at it, been like, oh man, like, is there one that's like 18 and a half? Because 18 and a half is like kind of my sweet spot for like a barrel, like a performance tube turn board. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, I will say the, in the opposite effect of that, I would have wanted to go narrower, but instead I looked at the leaders. <laughs> right, right. And so then the, the, the width actually like does feel good out on the face. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not as good in the tube for me, but on the face it feels sick. And so, you know, I, I think that it's very important to, to be open-minded and, and not shut it off to just like, I can only ride these leaders yeah. or I can only ride these dimensions yeah. and kind of find that sweet spot between. Yeah, I mean, let me, let me just grab this thing for a second. Like, I mean, if you look at like where the 25 is on this it's, board, it's, it's like, like here. it's right here. Yeah. It's like under like the, the meat <laughs> of your body uh, where if you're talking about that guy's like 510 yeah. short board at 25, that same 25 is, you know, there's, it's probably got a narrower nose up here and, goes and then it here, stretches yeah. all the way back to yep. the tail. Uh, which isn't helping, like that, that's not helping them get into the wave. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't believe that it's, it's that many liters because to me when I paddle, it's just gliding. Like yeah. And that's how, that's how all my barrel boards have always been. You know, I go from a 5.9 or a 5.10 short board to a 5.8 barrel board. And pe you know, that doesn't make sense. It's the same amount of, it used to be the same amount of liters, yeah. same as this, yeah. but it paddles infinitely better because of the way the foam's laid out. Yep. So where the foam is is more important than like how much foam there is. Well, yeah, than the number. Yeah. All right, cool. That, yeah, that's, that's really, that's, I think it's a huge point like for people to understand. I'm still learning. <laughs> Very much so, I'm still learning. <laughs> so Brett, thank you for, uh, for sharing all your input and your opinion on this board on the Pizel Ghost Pro. If any of our viewers out there have any questions about the Pizel Ghost or would like to place an order for one, either stock or custom order, you can always call us at the shop, 252-987-6000 or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.